Okay, well these are the fallow carrot fields. There's still some that they're using for uh, agriculture. But uh, this is a area of the Route 66 carrot field. All the way around here, I should get out and video it proper, but I'll do that later. Over. But I just wanna just take some photographs, so I take some, take some, just uh, so, well, I found them. Good. At least I found the silly carrot fields. You haven't, you haven't found them before? Oh, I've driven, I've driven through this area before, but I've never come out here to okay. actually look for them. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So, okay, what does this say right here? Loose gravel, okay? That still works by me. So, no, that's not the right type of thing. Hunting. So, this is all. should get us up above the fields. Probably hop out here and take a good gander. This is a good place to do it. It's wide enough. So yeah, it's Mount Taylor, big old volcano over there, but let's just get out right here where we still have people can see us. And hey, we're up above the carrot fields now. The carrot fields are all down there. So <clears throat> continue viewing where this foundation was. Clothesline right there, so this is probably a house. Uh, somebody's clothesline. Alright, so I'll just continue with the video. Oh, I had a gas, gas line right here, so it was a house. So, that's them. I don't think I'm going to find what I hope to find out here. That, uh, at least I found a picture. This is, there's 40 over there. That's the Zuni Mountains. That's Mount Taylor over there. It's actually kind of cool being up above them. Just take some stats. So, uh, so here with Amanda. So hello, Amanda. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I found them. I just see nothing. I see nothing that looks feral, though. So, this is a good time of year to be here. So, kind of nifty. Alright, so, man, can you just imagine this one was bright green? Just, I mean, this is why people just spoke about them like crazy coming through here. All of a sudden, you just had fields of fields of bright, bright green. I found that my first, my first reference to this, I was reading an old me memoir that, uh, that resides in the Huntington Library okay. in California. And uh, they were kind enough to take some scans of some the New Mexico pages for me. And then I started seeing more and more references to them and I was able to nail down exactly where they were. That's awesome. So, but this, cool. this is actually a, a great vantage. And they actually continue on the other side where I-40 is too. I mean, you see some of them, yes. but I-40 bisects. And in fact, actually, there's some carrot fields on that side that they didn't water. They don't actually use for but it's, you know, and dust storm blew off off of there and killed a bunch of people. Oh, oh. So it just went zero visibility. So now there's, there's actually a sign on I-40 now that, that talks about, you know, danger, danger possible zero zero visibility yeah. and uh yeah so you know the old dry carrot field uh the problem when people get into those dust storms like that you just i would punch if i ever get into one of those i'd punch it i when i know i i know exactly where the road is i saw it yeah. i yeah. would punch yeah. it and keep going the, the problem yeah. is when people slam on their brakes yeah. and that's what happened you get a pile up after that so if i ever hit one of those <laughs> i'm gone i'm i'm moving through those falls or breaks on part of you. So, well, it's just, it's the kind of thing that at that point, I'm on the shoulder. I'm on the inside shoulder because yeah. most people will not go to the end. That's actually how I avoided an accident. My truck was a little bit screwed up here for a while. So, just, uh, just kind of wondering about this foundation right here. Uh, it's interesting. You know, had a fence here and they actually put concrete in, so this was something a little bit more permanent. All right, all right, so just, uh, Couple more photos, Mount Taylor. Those carrot fields, found them. That's kind of cool. The old carrot fields. So this is something shit I do for.